Yo, what's up guys? What's up YouTube? Simply Andrew95 here. I'm here to do another opening video, guys. And guys, it is day two of my uh booster bots. And guys, I I am gonna be opening up more than five packs. Um actually guys, it's gonna be a round of packs from Scarlet and Violet. And guys, hopefully this won't be my last booster bots. Uh Maybe I'll try to get one more. So. So, yeah. But, but like I said, um, there is the code card for this one. Patrick. I didn't even guess the energy, guys. So. But we are underway, guys. We got a Sprigatito. Hound Hour. Drifloon. Citadel. Guys, I'm, I I cannot pronounce these names, guys. So, um, Mabo Stiff, I think that's how you pronounce him. Uh, Miriam, I would love to have the full art trainer, guys. Of course, that's, I think that's the chase card of this set. Spirit Tomb, Slowpoke. We got a rare candy and a full art Arvin. Okay, for our first. Official full art trainer. That is awesome. Hold on, guys. I'm gonna move some stuff around. There we go. That, so that is awesome. We got our very first full art trainer. All right, second pack. But guys, I think, um, honestly, a lot of people, of course, when Crown Zenith came out, um, a lot of people were excited about Crown Zenith, but my, my best friend, uh, BK Pokemon Cards, Bennett Kitchens, I think said it right, guys, um, Scarlet and Violet, you know, I don't think a lot of people were going to realize, uh, Psychic, were going to realize how good of a set this really was, but... I, I'm enjoying it, guys. You know, I, I definitely think they did a really good job on the cards. Uh, you know, I, I think a lot of people have came out and said they just don't like the silver border. But I think I think once um I think once we get more into the generation, I, I think a lot of people will change their minds. Um I, I definitely think so. But, I mean, right now it's just, you know, after years and years and years of the yellow border, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm one of those guys that did not love to change the borders until I actually saw uh, Leaf, until I actually saw what they actually looked like. So, you know, I, I'm just really happy that, you know, these cards came out actually pretty decent. Um, you know, of course, there's, they're trying to, they're trying to uh, imitate the Japanese style of cards. You know, of course, in my honest opinion, the Japanese cards have the best quality um, when it comes to trading cards. Um, especially for Pokemon, you know, I think for Yu-Gi-Oh, when I was collecting it, I thought they had the better quality than the English version. I mean, the English version of Yu-Gi-Oh was, you know, it was always off-centered. So, of course, Pokemon is like that, uh, I think it's dark. There it is. But, but I always thought that, uh... You know, the Japanese version, you know, I, I thought Japan did a really good job on their quality. Um, you know, of course, there's a lot of cards that the Japanese, um, uh, I'm trying to finish my thought, <laughs> but, uh, I thought the Japanese did a good job, like, based, basically, 
basically, you know, since, you know, they are kind of like well known for making trading cards. I thought they did a really good job like on just basically maintaining their quality of cards because you know I know Japan has a lot of cards that we will probably I don't I don't know if we'll ever see water but but I mean I just think there's some cards that you know I think look very good in Japanese but probably will not look good in America because of the quality America, you know. Oh my goodness, okay, okay, okay. Hold on one second, guys. We got the Curlia. Of course, guys, we pulled the Gardevoir right there. It's not, my camera's not focusing, guys. There we go. So we did pull the Gardevoir, and now we have the Curlia, okay. All we need is the Ralts, and we got an Analyte Ape. Guys, I cannot pronounce anything today. So that is really awesome. We'll put Curlia below a Gardevoir. But I also do think America does do a good job though is they do they they'll they'll try they'll try to make this to make the cards look close to japanese but i think japanese cards look so much better man my camera is not focusing today uh fire but but i think I think the good thing is, guys, uh, about Scarlet and Violet right now is the pull rates. I think the pull rates, um, from what I've seen, have been better than any other uh, base set of any other generation. Here's the Provide On EX, of course, guys. Um, this was the jumbo card in the flat for Coco and Rigatito collection boxes. So that is pretty awesome. Of course, he's one of the two legendary Pokemon of this generation. I put him under Charizard's foot. Don't ask me why. It's just it'll go there. But so far, guys, we're we're pulling absolute fire. I mean. We pulled the Full Art Trainer Arvin. We pulled the Curlia Art Rare. And then we pulled the Coridon. Yeah. Come on, focus. There we go. I guess Leaf. And it is Psychic. Maybe we can get one more big pull. Uh, fire. Oh, wait. Yeah, one more fire pool. But, but I think from what I've seen now of the cards, they look pretty awesome. The pack, the pack material definitely looks, feels different. So, so, um, you know, I don't know if that's got a lot to do with, um, you know, a new generation. They're trying to make the packs feel different than uh, Sword and Shield. Like Sword and Shield felt so much plasticky to me. I know plasticky is not a word, but but if I when when I show you guys my Zera Aura V Mats V Star Collection bots, um, what uh, fire? Sorry. And it is water. But I definitely, although guys, I did pull the Gardevoir. I do want to pull the Gyarados um, or the Miriam. You know, seeing the Miriam card. Uh, there's our first Magikarp. And we do have a Zangoose and a Halucha. Okay. So a familiar Pokemon. Of course, guys. 
the the new don't get me wrong guys the, some of the new pokemon actually looks pretty good um you know the great tusk looks pretty good in my honest opinion you know a dawn fan but our last pack guys but but definitely guys enjoying i'm enjoying scarlet and violet you know i know a lot of people aren't but uh psychic and it is fire maybe we can get one more fire pool but i'm definitely enjoying i'm definitely enjoying uh scarlet and violet so so you know i know a lot of people have said that you know when they first open up this set and we got a cleft key hollow but to finish that thought right quick i know a lot of people have said that they just don't like the fact of uh you know, one person said, lack, I mean, two reverses shouldn't, two reverse, two reverse cards shouldn't be a thing, a hollow in every pack, which I kind of agree shouldn't be a thing. I mean, I mean, honestly, if you're going to make the packs a little bit more, of course, guys, they went up, they went up on prices, uh, some stores went up on prices, um, but from what I've seen, guys, I watched Real Breaking Nate's uh, newest video. Check him out. I'll probably put him in the link in the description. Best Buy is still four forty nine for a pack for a booster pack, um, and they stayed at fifty dollars on. They stayed at fifty dollars on their uh, Elite Trainer boxes. But anyways, guys, to, to not make this any longer. Uh, guys, that is the ending for today's video, guys. I'm not going to do a recap. I'll probably do a recap after I get done with this box. But like I said, guys, I definitely do want to be opening up more Scarlet and Violet. Um, I'm definitely going to try to get my hands on two ETBs. Uh, check out those promos. Uh, but anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching, guys. If you guys did enjoy the video, guys, please, please make sure to like the video. Also, guys, make sure to subscribe. But... Like I said, guys, I'm sorry about the blurriness of my camera. I don't know what's going on. and But anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.